Hayes Hounds. Welcome back to Hayes Hounds, episode 46. Today's preview, we have the Horsham Cup as well as nine other races on the card. So let's get into things. Race one and with box seven or dearly bail um, should get plenty of room being outside and with all the scratchings inside of her. If she runs like last week, should be able to make every post a winner. Um, and I think the inside could get a bit messy. So, messy, so I think um, she's ideally drawn and is capable of running some time. So for race one, I've gone with box one or dearly bail. Race two, I'm going with box two, Moth Rocks. I believe he's probably the classiest dog in this field. Um, I reckon he'll lead and hopefully he's strong enough to hold on. Um, I think I think he might get tired as well, um, but I just think he's the best dog in the field. He should be able to lead, and if he can do everything right, um, I think he's a clear winner. So for race two, I've gone with box two, Moth Rocks. Race three, look, uh, look, this race looks very hard. It's very hard to go past the favourite. Um, the two looks like the only one that has shown um, something capable um, and looks to be the best of the field and pretty comfortably as well. So for race three, I've gone with box two. Race four, I've gone with box six, Paddy's Marble. Um, he's been absolutely airborne and been in a world of his own. Um, I think he looks hard to beat here. Um, I also don't mind Indie Ghost at an each way price. Um, can show some early toe, um, and I think can run a nice race at, at big odds. So I think it's worth an each way play. Um, but I think Paddy's Marble looks hard to beat. So for race four, I think Paddy's Marble win. Um, but I don't mind Indie Ghost at an each way price. Race five, I'm happy to go with box five, West Song. Um, I think he's a bit of value. Um, I think if can find the lead, uh, will be hard to beat. And Crackerjack Lock, I just think he gets a bit too far back in the field and he might just need uh, a bit of luck in his run. So I think if West Song can just find the front early, um, I think 23.40 will be good enough to win this. So I've gone with race five, box five, West Song at a bit of value. Race six, I really like Gypsy Yankee off the red. Um, should be able to find the fun early, um, prove hard to beat. I think whoever leads this probably wins, and I think just having the red should be able to find the fun early um, and put herself in a good position. So for race six, I've gone with box one, Gypsy Yankee. Race seven, I'm going with box six, Dream Wizard. Um, should get a nice card across from Jetlagger. Um, and should get a nice run throughout the race. He also looks to be the best and classiest dog in this field, and he looks hard to beat. Um, I just think Jetlegger probably works himself into this race um, and gives Dream Wizard the best run. So for race seven, I've gone with box six, Dream Wizard. Race eight, it's the Horsham Cup, and for me, it's between Americano Miss and Boston Garden. I think if Boston Garden leads, he for surely wins this. Um, I can't see him get run down, and um, I just think if he can beat Americano Miss out, he'll win. Um, I just think it all relies on how well he can begin. He can, he has shown that he can start to begin recently. Um, hopefully that can carry out tonight. So for me, in the Horsham Cup, I've gone with Box Five. Boston Garden, I think he'll be able to run some time if he can just begin, um, and I think he takes out the Horsham Cup. Race 9, it's hard to go past Aston Flame, um, she's going to ping the lids um, and will lead, I think she'll take a beat in, I just can't see, once she's out in front, I just can't, I just can't see that 410 will be long enough for her to be run down, so for race 9, I've gone with box 6, Aston Flame. Race 10 is the Andrea Guru race. Um, she trains every runner in this field, and it's a pretty even field. Um, but I'm going to go with the pink Alabama Anna. Um, looks to be the quickest earlier. Um, it's probably raced in harder races in recent times compared to others. Um, so to round out the night, I've gone with box 8, Alabama Anna. I think she can just lead. Um, she'll get plenty of room with it being a small field, and I think she just proves too good for this field. Now on to his hand of the week. This week it goes to Amron Boy. Um, a young pup who's had four starts for four wins and his slowest time um, has been 29.32 at Sandown and looks to be looking the goods for the upcoming launching pad. Um, he's trained by Brooke Ennis um, and I think he's definitely one to watch for if you aren't already. So um, he's hand of the week, one to watch out for, Amron Boy. He looks pretty solid and looks like a serious contender for the upcoming launching pad series. That's it, he's hounds, episode 46, the um, Horsham Cup preview uh best of luck on the punt